everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message. Now, before we get into pulling cards, doing all the messaging, which there's a lot of it coming through, um, before we get to all that, I want to let you know that I am ready to open up for live reading sessions again. So if you want to book one of those, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. As far as standard readings, I think I'm running, eh, they're still about running the regular wait time, but I will try to do more and more of those in the coming days because this is the time people start getting their 2025 year overview. So if you want one of those standard readings, you'll want to get in line for that. Uh, go to angelsouls444.com. Now I am offering Angel Souls gift certificates this year. So if you would like one of those, just make sure that the person you're giving the gift certificate to actually wants a reading and consents to a reading. Okay. Just again, email me at the angel souls 444 at gmail.com. I will get that sent off to you. Okay. So I think that's it. If you have more questions about readings and how they go and all that, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Now we are seeing quite a bit of panic going on in the world. Um, Something is coming up around people. I've been saying this for forever, but you know, people who try to get away with stuff, they're getting called out and their whole system and way of doing things is crumbling and they don't really know what to do next. So if you have people lashing out at you, if people are, I don't know, I just had like an exceptional example of Darvo. I'll let you look that up, before, you know. Besides us, like, sitting here and explaining it throughout this reading. But look up Darvo. I saw a great example of that interacting with somebody. I'm like, this is just, wow, they're getting more and more blatant because they're getting deeper and deeper into their delusions. They don't know where else to go. So they go towards what they know. And yet more people are waking up and they're seeing it for what it is. They're seeing that technique of trying to make somebody else feel guilty while they take no accountability. Um... I, I, my fear here, if there's, if I could say there's a fear around it or my concern would be that people start acting out and taking things out in a big way, taking their frustrations out in a big way. So this might be something where there's a world event or this could be something where someone storms out, you know, and <laughs> tries to play the victim. I don't know what's going on here, but it's just like everyone's kind of short circuiting. So hang tight to that. And now this is more of on a personal level, okay? So this is Ace of Gabriel. This is giving birth to a new situation. For some of you who are trying to get pregnant, this can be, I mean, everyone is different. So in a general reading, it's hard to do a fertility reading, but um, this bodes well for a new beginning here. This says a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Now, <coughs> pardon me. I do have a little bit of something, something going on. And I apologize. Let me bring this a little bit closer and do a little this. Little, little, there we go. Okay. So here is the Ace of Gabriel. This is cutting away or cutting out some of those people, places, situations, whatever the case may be, that's holding you up from your creative life force. And Gabriel is here to help you feel inspired and nurtured. Think solar plexus, not solar plexus, um, sacral chakra. Think sacral chakra types of things, you know, stored up emotions is what I'm hearing. Some of that's being released now. And so now you can kind of fall in love with life again. Oh, and really cutting out people who don't give back to you. Are you expected to show up for them all the time, but they never show up for you? And then they play the victim when you start pulling back. Those kinds of things are being released now and you're not going to miss it. I know some of you, you're going to be kind of afraid to let go of a situation, but once you do, you're going to be so happy that you did. All right, next card, King of Michael. You're sticking to the facts here. And when someone's trying it with you, especially if it is a Darvo type situation, stick to the facts, okay? Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it does feel like someone's trying to get one over on you and you are just not having it. This might be an out, this isn't the king, but I'm saying the general energy, it might be an outburst. And it might be you, you know, 
I know I've wanted to like scream at the top of my lungs when I'm trying to get something out and someone keeps interrupting me. And we can sit here and pretend like it's cute ADHD. Oh, I can't help it. You can. Yeah, you can. Okay, work on yourself. I have ADD myself. And I figure out a way to be courteous to other people. So we can work that out. We can't just use ADHD as an excuse for everything. But like this could be the kind of thing of like, everyone get out of my way. I'm stepping into my power. I have this big inspiration and here's the power I'm going to put behind it to make it happen. And anybody who stands in the way, well, it's not going to bode well for them. Look at all this power. Queen of Raphael. A lot of people in this too. A uh, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. You are not taking any. I don't know what this is. It's like a, a sense of like kind of being uneasy, but at the same time freeing yourself. <laughs> so I know it's going to be for the best. It really is going to be for the best here. And this Queen of Raphael is saying, I'm taking charge. Well, first of all, I'm going to honor my feelings. First and foremost, I'm going to take charge of my spiritual health is how I want to put it. I don't know if that's the correct way of putting it, but being very balanced. Look at all that. Being very, very balanced and not giving in, not giving in because someone wants to pull you down with them. They don't want to see you succeed. Let's get this other card here. Yeah, 10 of Gabriel. People want you. Hi. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> people want you to be burdened with them because they're, 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 here's the thing. A lot of people don't want to grow, and so they want you to not grow, and you're saying, uh, no, I have already learned my lessons. I have been burdened, and I'm not going to allow it anymore. Now, this 10 of Gabriel, let me just read it here for you. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Do you have situations in your life where you, I, I say this all the time, I said it here, I must say it again. You're expected to show up for everybody else, but they don't show up for you. <coughs> or, you know, their, their life and their life events, you're supposed to make a huge deal out of that, but then you kind of get forgotten, overlooked, just dismissed, diminished even. This is that 10 of Gabriel, and this is saying... <laughs> oh, I just dropped one. Hold on. Okay, got it. All right. So look at how this lineup is happening. Like you're heading in a better direction and people, I don't know. It's about people outside of you trying to derail your efforts. That's a big theme going on right now. And with all the shifts and changes and all the transits that are going on right now, we could feel already like a fish out of water. And you're like, no, I think I, I got this. I'm summing up my lessons and I'm ready to start fresh. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to make things happen. And other people, again, there's a theme of other people want to stop you from doing that. All right. Sorry. Left these off camera. I'm going to pull a Michael card here. thinking there's also this thing here is feeling of really trying to silence I just had a conversation with someone and I made mention of something that might be a little esoteric and this person's not esoteric and they were like ah oh. it was very much like bah humbug it was very that and I was like wow you're so free to just diminish someone else's perspective <laughs> right um and, and it was just it was kind of out of left field and it's just that's that's the short circuiting I'm talking about but I don't think you're going to take it you're ready to take all those burdens and shove them aside so that you can get going on what you want to do with this life lean on God and the angels for support dear God and angels I give you this situation and you can describe the situation now and completely I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. It's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tough. And I, I think mm, the energy around this is so mixed up. So it's okay if you're feeling confused. It's okay if you're feeling a little bit lost here. Um, 
And one of the things I keep hearing from people too who want to get personal readings, I've seen a lot of, I'm going to call it desperation. A lot of, there are some things that are very common that I hear. Um, most of that is I feel super lost. I'll, I think a lot of us do at this time. Or just just give me, just tell me what to do and get frustrated because the angels are not an I and not telling them exactly how to live their life. That is trying to avoid accountability. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that. Oh, I, I see that hits the nerve. It hits, it hits the ego too hard, doesn't it? And we say, hey, if you want something to happen, you got to do it. You got to take care of things for yourself. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Or, you know, you, you can't just sit back and go, well, you know, things are not lining up for me. Listen, we've all been through it for many, many, many years now, since 2008. Let me just give you an example here. Since 2008, I was working in book publishing. I thought I was going to be on a solid career track. I was supposed to be moving into, um, you know, trying my hand at editorial out of like the more corporate side of things. And then everything just kind of blew up. And the most unreal situations and gossip and rumors and all these things just started happening. It's just weird. Just so, so, so weird. And of course, there was a global pandemic in there and, you know, stock market crashes and like all of these things that would make things incredibly difficult. But if I sat back and said, oh, it's not fair. Hey, you know, go, maybe I go and get a reading and say, hey, just tell me what's going to happen. Then you want a psychic tarot reading. Go get one of those. You're not looking for angelic guidance. That's something different. Angelic guidance makes sure that while times are tough, you're handling your business. You're handling your soul contract. You're learning those karmic lessons so that you can come through and not repeat them. Now, if you want someone to just tell you what to do and you do it and you still are on that karmic cycle, that's up to you, right? So that's the kind of thing that's sort of coming up here. It's just this lack of accountability and um, wanting everybody to just kind of step up and do everything, not you, but people may be doing this towards you, wanting you to just take care of everything for them. And you saying, I have better and more beautiful things to do with my time. <laughs> I'm inspired. I'm feeling creative. I feel like I have a plan in place that is beautifully balanced between the head and the heart. And the burdens are going to try to hang on there. But you're saying no more. You're saying I'm putting that aside because I'm not going to miss out on my future. There have been too many things to derail you over the years. And now you're saying you're putting your foot down. You're putting your foot down. So this is a really wonderful thing. Like I said, if you care to get a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. Always be following me on my socials. I don't know if I stress this enough. I pop up little coupon codes every once in a while. Now, I'm a small business, so I can't do that. I mean, I've been doing it more recently. I can't always do that, though. Um, if I'm going to make a living off of it, I hope you can understand that. And, you know, if I could do it for free, I would happily do it for free, but, um, I have to pay bills too, you know? So, um, I will pop in a code there every once in a while. And if you're following, you will see those codes. Often people will say, oh, I didn't know that there was one up. And then they put, they go ahead and pay full price and then expect a price adjustment. Please don't do that to my books. Please just let, just listen, just Follow the community tab on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Okay, TikTok. I'm trying on TikTok. I, it's just a lot. Those are a lot of platforms, honey. Okay, and that's like trying. Like you got to be funny and like on. And I don't know. Maybe I'm too old for that. I think maybe I. <laughs> maybe <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, point is, is that let's not mess up my books by expecting a price adjustment because. I don't know. That makes, like I said, it just makes things more complicated. So follow the socials. The coupon codes will be up there. They will go up for like a couple of hours at a time sometimes. So just be aware of that as well. So if I put up a flash 50 and it's 50% off, well, that's only good for a couple of hours. So if you missed it, you missed it. You feel me? Okay. I just want to make sure we all understand each other. And I think we're all kind of aggravated this week, <laughs> maybe. And if you're having a good week, that's wonderful. It's not like you um, 
one, it's not that you're above everything. And also it's not like you're missing out on some big lesson that's going to hit you later. Not necessarily. You may have already paid your dues around this situation. This is just, remember, a general reading, picking up on what energies are coming through. And it is one of pressure, desperation, um, aggravation, impatience, irritability, a little bit, a little bit, but you can come on through that. You can come on through that. You have beautiful things lined up for you. Get that stuff going. All right. I hope this made sense. It's kind of, I've done my best to like bring through what is coming through and it's just, it's like a shattered glass. It's just like a shattered, that's where all the little fragments are all over the place. So again, if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com, we will leave it there. We are done. I love you guys. Oh, and I've been trying to go live more. We'll, we'll get back to that. So have a good week and take care. Bye-bye.